Hello to all the families on Berry Fields. I am Gemma Moncada and I am the children's and families worker at Church on Berry Fields. And this week we are going to be putting on some activities for you to try at home. There'll be some stories, some crafts, some family challenges for you to have a go at this week during the holidays. So today I am going to show you how to make some bubble print paper. I'm in the garden because it can get a little bit messy, which I know you will love. So I'm going to show you how to mix your bubble solution with some paint and then how to put some prints onto your paper to make some stationery of your own or to use to make your own pictures. So the first thing you're going to need is a bowl and half a cup of water, some paint, some washing up liquid and a straw. I'm going to pour my half a cup of water into my bowl. I'm going to put some paint into my water as much as you would like, but obviously not the whole bottle. I'm going to stir it with my straw and now my water has turned purple. To make some bubbles in it, I'm just going to put a little bit of washing up liquid and give that a mix as well. Right, I'm going to move those out of the way. Okay, and I have already mixed up six different colours. You might only be able to see three of them actually. So I've already mixed up, you can see there's some behind. Six different colours. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to blow into my bubbles until the bubbles come up over the bowl and then I'm going to pop my paper on top so that they pop onto my paper. Okay, this is the fun messy bit. So my bubbles have come right up, I'm going to get my paper and gently press it down and then the bubbles have printed onto my paper, I'm not sure how well you can see that. And then you can keep doing it with all your different colours until you've had enough and you're happy with your design, so I'm going to do that quickly now. want to and you're really quick you can do all the colours at once. And once you have finished you leave your paper to dry. I'm going to do a few more. You can keep going with as many different colours as you want. Right, I'm happy with that, so I'm going to leave that in the sunshine to dry. And once it is dry, you will end up with paper with a pretty pattern on, like this. You can leave your paper as that, or you could fold it in half and use it to make a card. You can cut it out into different shapes or animals to make patterns. I just did two colours on this one and then I cut it out, oh my pipe cleaner is not stuck on very well, cut it out to make a butterfly and stuck a pipe cleaner in the middle with some antennae. I need to re-stick that though, it's come undone. So you can have lots of fun making bubble print paper and then be as creative as you want to with your paper once it has dried. I hope you enjoy doing that. My toddler has definitely enjoyed doing that this week. So share what you make, if you want to, um, with us and we look forward to seeing it. I will be back tomorrow with another activity for you to try this week.